Guys, as I said, it needs a hell of a cleaning. Guys, welcome to the channel, Winnie Cars Review. So I'm here back at the lot, and um, of course, we're here checking out cars. I have the Venza right here. This is really, really cool, guys. This car is very, very, very good. I love it. Um, I have to go and ask for the price, but it's so perfect. I love it. Look at it. Take a look at this car. That's indeed the thumbnail. And um, there's, there's a whole lot of peak from it, guys. Look at this one. It just sold for $1,650. Very clean. So let's jump into the video quickly. So first on my list is a Toyota Venza. I love the color, guys. This one stands out. Well, wheels kind of dirty. Nothing much. You can still clean it up. Let's walk around. And it looks, it looks clean. Even though it's an LE. Even though it's an LE. And the all-wheel drive. So, let's check out the back. All right. Okay. Okay, this LE is, this LE is packed with, we have very big spare tires. Um, this one will, will need a whole lot of detailing, guys. This is it. Automatic tailgate. Let's walk inside. We have the cloth seats. Crane. And this is how it looks from inside. Check it out. You have the touch screen and everything. What year is this? Let's check it out and see. This one is um, the 2014 Toyota Venza. Of course, as I said, you will need a hell of a cleaning in here. We have storage here, extra storage there. Another one right here. Let's pop the hood and see how she looks from the belly of the beast. I love this one, guys. I'm gonna inquire on this and see how much it's, go it's going for. So we have the four cylinder dual VVTI, guys. Um, a little bit of valve cover leakage I'm seeing here. Battery looks old. There's corrosion all on the, the poles. That's nothing bad. This is a Toyota. Okay, this is how she looks. Isn't she perfect? Yes, she is. Moving over to the next. So I'm in the Venza. The Venza has 160,000 miles on the dash. As I said, it needs a hell of a cleaning. Um, AC works perfectly. Heat is perfect as well. Um, not much of a problem seeing here. I know carrier is solid. We have the wood trim interior. I love the way it drives. Okay, it's I don't um I forgot to ask the guys the price, but I'm gonna do it. But let's go ahead and, and move around and see you know what's going on. So a JX just came and we're gonna look at it right now. So next is another minivan. Okay, this one is a Chrysler. Um Let's do a quick guess. Is this a town and country? Or is this, there's some other name of these guys. Michelin tires all around. Come. Michelin tires all around. Uh, this one looks good. Uh, my guess should be, this one should be uh, maybe a town. Yeah, town and country. Yep, that's my guess. It was right. There you have it. Town and country. All right. And this is how she looks few scratches here and there nothing and this is the limited so this is packed for goodness ah oh, this limited there's no there's automatic tailgate but i don't know anyway well this is how it looks from the back you have a big trunk space we have the jacket we arrange everything right here okay you adjust the seats with this with a touch of a button everything goes down of course this is a limited so you have whatever let's go inside check it out yes mommy okay 
automatic door as well. Come on, let's go inside. So being a limited, you have touch screen here and also for the occupants in the back. It comes with headphones for the occupants as well. And this is how it looks from the front. You have your old Chrysler analog clock right there. Can we close this? Yes, we can. Let's go inside. What are we dealing with? 172 miles on the dash. Not a bad one. We have the gear selector right here. Touch screen. Sirius XMs right there. Couple of storage areas here as well. Let's go ahead and see what year is this. Can we see? This is a limited, so you will see all the good stuff. You'll see all the chrome accents. You'll see all the tech. So let's go ahead and check out the belly of the beast and see what she's working with. All right, 3.3. VVT, very clean engine. This one was detailed, guys, as you can see, and it's perfect. 170 something miles on the dash. So there you have it, your Chrysler Town and Country. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Next is an Infinity 2014. Is this the JX? Let's walk around and see. We have to crumb all around. Transmission problem, guys. Nissan and Infinity, what's going on with you guys? This generation, even the Pathfinder to this generation, had a lot of problem with tra uh, transmission problem. 3.5, same engine that goes in the in the in the Pathfinder. Nothing. Let's go around and walk around. Let's see what's going on. What do we have? Michelin tires with good thread patterns. Um, is this the JX? I'm not too sure, guys. But okay, this is a QX. This is a QX. This is not the JX. There is um automatic tailgate i don't know why it's not working but that's not my that's none of my business um uh, my guess is maybe there's no power so what do we have straight off the back we have storage right here and we have the boost acoustic wave system can it go down nope that's because there's no power i guess all right Coming in from the back, we have the black leather. We have screens in the back, okay? We have um, split um, split um, sunroof. The back looks like panel, and the front has its own stuff. We have climate control in the back with vents, okay? And we have functional, um, what's the name of it? Video controls and what have you. And this is how it looks from the front okay this car is the infinity to the pathfinder so they um they come in jx and qx jx 35 something like that and it's the qx 60. this is the qx so i don't know the difference guys comment in the comment section there's something wrong with this one 149,000 miles on the dash guys can you imagine that and this guy already has transmission problem 2014 let's pop the hood okay so what are we working with here we're working with a very sophisticated car a lot of tech you know and it's good i personally don't like the black leather because it tends to fade and get trashed over the period that's something i don't want to do i don't know about you but me personally i prefer the cream leather so the black the vents are still running guys perfect now my daughter is in the front seat kids don't touch stuff over there okay all right so what are we having the v6 same thing the power stereo is a whole big is a whole big unit by itself all right we have um pretty much new batteries right here new battery pretty much um that's what that's how it looks guys this one transmission is fried you have a, you have to get a new transmission moving over to the next one 
So this is a Jeep Cherokee. My guess this should be maybe a 2011, 2012 or 2013, something like that. We have BF Goodrich tires right here. It looks perfect, guys. BF Goodrich tires looks like it's all around. What do we have? Larido. So this one is um, like the LE for Toyota. For Toyota, this is um, 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 Jeep's um, Cherokee, you know, one of the um, lowest trim level. You have the Larido. Spare tires, full, full size, never touch the floor. That is a perfect thing. That is very good. Um, it comes with the tow package as well. So, guys, it's uh, what 70 something degrees out here, so we're chilling, we're welcoming summer gradually. So, right up, um, we have um, the, the fender liner trim right here is missing, and it's like it took a little hit from right here. So, worst case scenario, this, this thing can be you know sucked out if you take it to a good um, body guy. So, you have um, small um, damage right here to the bumper as well. Let's take a look inside. We have the um the, the leather seats from what I can see. And we have um air vents in the back. So armrest with a very clean headliner, and this is how it looks from the front. It's clean, guys. Let's go ahead and check it out. So look, we have Huskies liners and the touch screen as well dual zoom climate control and this is how it looks so let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what are we working with what do we have 154 that's a good one great mileage so um, I have the Venza, guys. I'm actually driving the Venza. Um, so I brought my daughter with me. So um, this is a huge lot. Okay, doing videos is gonna be it's gonna be um it's gonna be a problem for me with her. So I got her in the Venza, and we're going around the lot, you know, to do videos with the Venza. So she will be in the Venza while I do videos. So the three six is a great engine very very good engine reliable um coming in the comment section for those of you who've been using the three six what year is this i forgot let me check and see if i can find it um guys it's not telling me so i guess let me see if because chevy does this i don't know if jeep does it as well chevy tells you the year the engine size everything on a low information stuff right there nah jeep is not doing that too nope okay so i don't know the year guys come in the comment section and let me know what do you think of it so this video is a wrap i'm done for the day i'm going back home i came to the lab with my daughter you guys know how it is bringing kids out here she wants this she wants that she wants the other so if you're not a subscriber kindly subscribe to the channel um this is what i do i'm a car guy i bring you contents of cars and what have you so i'm out peace out